today we are going to be treating on how to process data on Pix4D. That is how to use Pix4D to process images like you when you have a drone images how you can use your Pix4D mapper to do that. When you have images that was obtained using drones, using iPhones, using your Android mobile phone how you can process such an image on your Pix4D mapper today we'll be discussing on how to get that done just do well to watch me while I put it to you on how to achieve that this particular image was obtained using an Android phone and the aim of the image was to capture the stockpile volume of the materials on ground and to bring the images to Pix4D in order to be able to calculate the volume uh, you can get this done using mobile phone and using drone and you can also use your iPhone with this method you can just compare the results alright the first thing you have to do is to launch your Pix4D mapper then after you launch the Pix4D mapper you click on what you click on new projects let me name it as I will name it as a tutorial tutorial so this particular location now is the location where it's going to be created you can see create in this is the location where you edit files will be saved in and you click on next and you can also see we have project type you have new project we have project match from existing projects new projects with camera rigs and likes but uh we use new project because we are working with a new project then i'll click on next all right then after clicking on next after selecting next what i'll simply do is to bring in the images of where what i want to process the images of what i want to process so i'll click on add image and then after i select add image i'll select the location where i have my data the location where my images were saved so these are my images on the screen here we have 95 images in total this particular like i said earlier on this particular images was obtained using an android phone and you can also use an you can use a drone to cover your images depending on your project specification but uh the end result is to obtain the volume all right so what you simply do is to select all the images that you have and you click on open and then you click on next so the images has been you can see image properties these are the properties of the image and so what you simply do is you click on next so after you click on next under the output you can see select output coordinate system so what i'll simply do is to define the output of my coordinate system so for me to do that what i'll simply do is i'll click on this advanced coordinate options so after i select advanced coordinate options what i'll simply do is i'll change this from auto detect to known coordinate system that is i want to bring in the coordinate system of the output where i want the results to be so uh for the coordinate system i'll click on this place that says from list and then under the datum i'll select the coordinate system the datum of my location of my image observation and that is a uh, omina so and the coordinate system is on mina zone mina utm zone 31 and then i'll click ok all right then under the from epsg epsg for mina utm zone 31 when you select it uh you can see choose epsg number so uh this for my uh coordinate system this particular epsg is the value so 
um, but in a situation whereby it not showing the EPSG for your data, what you simply do is to click on the drop down arrow and you select the EPSG that suits that and you click OK. Alright, then after you are done with that, what you simply do is uh, you click on arbitrary and then you click on next. Alright, when you click on next, this is what you are going to have on the screen. We have standard, we have rapid and we have advanced. Under the standard, we have 3D maps, we have 3D models and we have AG multi spectra. And then under the rapid, we have the drop down list as you can see and the advanced what it contains as well all right so now under the th standard 3d maps when you select it you can see uh, the options of all you're going to have for the 3d maps we have generate a dsm that is digital service model and an auto mosaic for mapping application you can see these are the what these are the outputs that it's going to generate for you. We have the auto mosaic, we have the DSM, we have 3D mesh, and we have the point cloud. So an example application of that is a measure volumes. We have digital houses and road. We have generate contour lines and we have Google Maps. All right, uh, like I said, the end result of this particular volume determination is to be able to calculate the volume of the stockpile so uh this project this tutorial this video is basically on how to calculate volume of a stockpile using piece 4d for the processing all right so what i'll simply do is to select this it's going to be on 3d maps and then for 3d models you can see this is the output that you can see and we also have ag multi spectra uh this is the output we have reflectance map we have index map and we have application map but um my focus today is on 3d maps and then i'll click on what i'll click on finish so as soon as i click on finish it's going to bring out this page for me all right so what i'll simply do is that i'll uncheck these three i'll uncheck these three processing uh, box so after i uncheck that i'm going to be processing each one after the other so what you simply do is to click on the first one you check it in and you click on what you click on start then after you're done with the first processing it's going to turn on in green color it's going to turn on in green that is is done with the process then after you're done with that you uncheck you uncheck the first one and then you check in the second one and you click on what you click on start then after you're done with the process you uncheck the second one as well and you click on the third one and then click on start then after the three are done with the process the three is going to be on green color that is the trees are done with processing so uh but before but that is the three are done with processing the initial processing we we have the first one says initial processing the second one says point cloud and mesh and the third one says DSM, Auto Mosaic, and Index. That was the what I show you on the previous page before coming to this page. All right. And then under this first process, initial, pro initial processing. Uh, after you're done with your initial process, what the software will definitely do for you before you process the other one, that is the the second one and the third one, is going to bring out a report for you. And this is the report of what is going to bring out like when you are done with the initial process that is the first processing it's going to bring out the report a report for you so under this report you'll be able to obtain a values if what you are if the images is well processed that is the initial process is well processed well and there is no any errors from the image observation when you check this under this quality 
you can see here we have quality report under this quality check we have images and we have data set all right under this data set we have 95 out of 95 images calibrated that is all image are enabled which means that all the 95 images are well calibrated and the it is 95 it is 100 percent processed in some cases at times it might not be 100 percent processed due to lack of any overlap probably the overlapping is poor is not well cal is not well overlap is not like in a situation when it's not 70 percent overlap in a situation like that in a cases like that it can have the the image can might not be processed well it might not be calibrated well but to obtain that you make sure the image is well calibrated all right that is that for that coming back to uh page here. after you are done with the processing uh this is what you simply have on the screen it's going to display like this the three will be turned on in green that is the initial processing the point cloud and mesh the dsm auto and dsm auto music and index is has been processed successfully so it's going to be on green so what you simply do is to calculate the volume of that particular stop pie what you do is you click on what you click on volume since our major interest is going is on volume calculation we want to calculate the volume of our stock pie so i'll zoom into the materials where i have the materials on the screen this is the stock pie on the screen this is the stock pie materials on my screen so uh, what i'll simply do is to calculate the volume of this particular stock pie So what I'll simply do is what I'll click on these icons that says new volume and then uh, what I'll simply do is that it, you can see from what it says there is a left click to mark the vertices of the base of the volume. So from your mouse now what you simply do is to left click on the materials that you have. So I'll select all the materials that I have. I'll make sure I select it one. Then when I'm done with the selection, I'll do what I'll just right click. Before what I was doing is left click. So this one is going to be right click. So as soon as I right click, you can see now it has changed from the screen here. You can see it has bring the compute. So what I'll simply do is I'll click on compute. So as soon as I click on compute, you can see it down on the screen here is already loading. You can see updating the geometry that is it's going to process the stockpile of what i've selected on the softwares and the result will be displayed all right you can see the result on the screen now you can see the terrain in 3d we have the code volume and likes so uh you can just do what you click on these icons that says copy volume measurement to clipboard so you can copy the volume measurements and you can open any softwares to paste the volume results you can just open your Excel or you open your Microsoft Word and you place the volume result of your stockpile volume. So I'll just paste, I'll press Ctrl V. You can see paste options that is that you can see these are the report of the volume the volume report and then another thing is that you can click on this icon that says volume settings and you can see triangulated which is on default you can change the the display of what you want you can put it on any display let's see you can see triangulated this is triangulated fit plane align with average align with lowest 
align with highest and custom altitude so our uh, body default is on triangulated which makes me to select the the uh, desire surface overall to select that is for that and another thing is uh you can click on this icons that looks like eyes to turn up the areas of what you've clicked in some cases if you want it to be more accurate you can use the what you can use the ground control point that is G D the gcp which is the ground control point you can use it for this particular stockpile there was a ground control point for that this is it here this is one of the ground control points this is that we have here we have here you can see the caution tape which is the green uh, which is on red and white that is one of the ground control points but we it was not used this is another one here that we have the caution tape uh, the ground control points we also have others yeah but it was all you but to make your result to be more accurate in this, some cases you can use the ground control points for your job all right that is how to calculate the volume of a stock by using piece for the mapper if you found this video helpful do well to like comment and share don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to turn on your notification bells to be notified on our subsequent videos. Thank you.